I almost went down a dark fucking path, guys. Um, that you're going through so something so fucking awful. Uh, it's like it's not fair. Life is beyond not fair, bro. They never, ever blame themselves. Welcome back to another video. What's going on, guys? So before I start the video, I want to throw out a little disclaimer. I've never done this before. If you guys haven't read the title, today... I'm gonna be reacting to a pretty dark time for myself. During this time, I was actually homeless. If you are prone to like sensitivity, bad emotions, I recommend not watching this. But for everybody else, I have my MacBook right here. Um, on this MacBook is the videos, and I haven't really watched it myself. I watched it one time like a year ago, so I really don't remember like what was said. But <clears throat> it was some pretty like fucked up things because during this time I was homeless, and these were like my pure just thoughts and emotions just pouring out of me. So. I might say some things I don't really mean. Um, I don't know. You know, I really hate being one of those guys like subscribe to the channel, but guys, sub to the channel. I got the video here. We're about to experience some raw human emotions. So I want to give a little bit of context to what's going on here. So as you guys can see, I'm sitting in a car. At the time, I didn't have anywhere to sleep or like live or go to. So I had to sleep in my car and pretty much everything that I had, food, toothbrush, all living essentials, were basically just in my car. That's why you can kind of peep a little bit of messiness in the background. So I just want to say that, give you guys a little bit of context. All right, with that being said, damn, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Oh, wow. I just want to be work. I'm tired. Right off the bat, you guys will see, I'm very angry as a man. I don't know, I guess I get angry quick. I think at the time I was trying to get an apartment and like that was the way to get it because I had to call like the leasing office or whatever. They took forever to reply. So I was basically just sitting on hold. And I guess I was just so angry at the lady, even though it was just automated. I don't even know what's going on, but let's just keep it going. Ma'am, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Oh my God. I just want to go to work. I'm tired. Oh, man, this is I'm tired. This is life. This is life. This is life of po poverty. You can't afford rent. Oh my goodness. You can't goodness. afford to just live in a piece of a shack. I'm trying to get to live in a shack. Can't afford a shack. Time and niggas talk, got a limbos. Who, who made it like this? As you guys can see, I'm basically just ranting about life. It's kind of scary to see myself like that because I try my best to be as positive as possible. To see myself so angry and upset really does sadden me. Even though I know like I've gotten past that because I'm here and I'm happy you now. It's funny because at the time my mom was like texting me constantly and saying, Todd, just come back home. We can try again later, blah, blah, blah. And she was like crying and stuff. I understood why she wanted me to come back. But in my head, I just, I left everything in the past for a reason. I was really just thinking to myself, well, how is it fair that I did nothing wrong in my life? You know, of course, granted, I made mistakes. I've done things that I sh probably shouldn't have, but on the grand scheme, I've never like sold drugs to kids. I've never like done heinous crimes. How can me end up in such a situation that is so unfair when people that I know, well, I don't know personally, but I know people that's out there in the world are not good people and have my, my dream life. You know, they have Lambos, cars, they're free. They're living a life that many people would just wish they could live. But let's keep it going. Uh, I just want to see more, man. This is crazy to see me like this. I'm trying to get to live in a shack. Can't afford a shack. Your niggas got a Lambos. Who, who made it like this? Meanwhile, has a car literally driving by. It's fucking ironic. Porsches. Man, I can't afford to live in a shack. Who made like... Capitalism? I don't know. This I'm glad I said this because I still agree with this point at this time. Um, it's not right that... There's so many working class people that are working so hard, especially like the immigrants and stuff, that they come to this country and work so hard, but receive so little. I don't think that's fair. Doing the roads, doing construction, plumbing, that was type of things that we essentially need. Like we need those essentially. We couldn't run a society without it. It's deemed as low value. Like nobody really worships it. Nobody grows up thinking, I wanna be a construction worker, you know? And it's just so sad that essential people just don't get the recognition that they deserve. It's so sad. Those niggas have m millions. And some niggas have nothing. Zero. D d negative. I'm in debt. I have Damn, I have that's have deep. negative. Some niggas have plus one zero 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 three four seven three zero zero. Bro, I'm billions. literally ranting. Bro. Negative money. That is so fucking crazy. Who did? Who do I block? Myself? I don't know. Bro, I'm literally going through every set of emotions right now. How did I get through that, bro? I was literally peeing in a bottle at some point. Yo, 
I had to drive fucking like 30, I had to drive like 30 or 40 minutes just to like go take a shower because I had to drive. It was his gym. Me and Jerry, we had to get in our car because like we didn't take a shower in like three or four days and we smelled like shit. We had work the next day. We didn't we didn't want to go to work, smell like shit, and having people ask questions like, Ty, you take a shower? What's wrong with you? We didn't want that happening. So me and Jerry decided that we had to drive to an LA fitness that was outside of Miami. We had to drive like 20 or 30 minutes out just to go to this LA fitness to take a public shower. And I actually recorded that. You guys can watch that on my channel. I hated it. I do not recommend it. Jerry, if you watch the video, you can tell that he was very dissatisfied with what we had to go through. And I don't blame him. That shit was fucking awful because the next day we literally had to go to work and then like nothing happened. Like, you know, do you, I don't think people, if you're watching this, it's impossible, but try to imagine that you're going through so something so fucking awful and you have to go to like in public and smile like nothing's wrong. Maybe you do understand that if you're watching this. Maybe that's why you're watching this. If you do understand that, it is the most frustrating feeling having people not know about what's really going on and think you're okay because you know, if they don't really know, having like little inconveniences and you hear it or they say something that's like so, so, not stupid, but so like minuscule compared to what you're going through. It's so like annoying to go through that. If you guys understand how that feels, let me know. That shit felt like ass, bro. Like, I remember some people would like come to me and tell me, oh my God, like, oh my God, I got so much college study I have to do. Like, I don't really feel like studying tonight. Uh... And meanwhile, I'm thinking, yo, at least you have a place to go to, to go fucking study. I'm going back to my car and I have to go sleep in it. And sleeping in the car is the worst. This why it's not done, bro. I literally was getting like knee pains. I thought I was like permanently gonna mess myself up because there were some days where I couldn't even walk because my knee hurt that fast. I thought I was done. So thankfully I got out of that. Knee seems to be, we're just, we seem to be okay. Man, hopefully it doesn't get worse than this. I don't know, like I said, I didn't watch this video yet. So all of this is kind of like, we're, we're experiencing it at the same time. I don't know. <laughs> Was I crying? <laughs> Maybe. <sighs> so it looks like to me, I'm finally like actually understanding the situation that I'm in. What I'm going through is real. Like this isn't a dream. I don't get to wake up and tomorrow is like a beautiful, nice day. No, I wake up, it's gonna be the same shitty situation unless I free myself. I don't know if I was crying or I was about to cry. And I think I just finally accepted it in that moment, which is kind of tragic. I mean, I'm homeless, guys. Like, <sighs> it gets better, Ty. I promise. We're here, buddy. We're here. We made it. We, we didn't make it, but we're here. I'm, I don't. Ah, oh, man. I don't. Know. I wish you could know. <laughs> huh. This is it, bro. Because my family gave me nothing. Oh my this God. This is my life. I. My family didn't draw. Before we keep going, let me let me get into that. I've gotten to the point. It took a couple years, but I finally I finally got over the pain of my childhood. So as if you heard, I kind of blame my family for what I was going through when I shouldn't have done that because they didn't force me to move to Miami. They didn't force me to want to move out at 20 years old and not go to college. None of that was forced upon me. I chose all of those decisions. So it's stupid that I was blaming my family or religion or whoever like instead of myself and i finally got into a point where i could do that and look at myself in the mirror and say you know what ty where you're at is everything that you've done before and up to this point because i know some people they never they never ever blame themselves they always blame somebody else it's somebody else's fault maybe it's a parent or it's god or their friends or some do at school or the teacher some random person that that they can look to to blame for the shitty situation that they're in guys if you're watching this video don't do that always put i don't want to say not blame i don't want to say blame. hold accountability for yourself if you're th going through something dark or scary look into the reasons why that might have happened maybe you've made this choice and it got you to the point. I always try to put it back to yourself because the worst thing that can happen is you not improving because you're not seeing your own thoughts and seeing that the decisions you're making are putting you in the situation that you're in. I'm here because of me. If I want to get there, it's going to be because of me. They're always going to blame somebody else and stay in the same situ situations and always be complaining. If you know friends like that, if you have family like that, stay away. Stay away. Okay. I have to suffer. Nothing. No women. No friends, no money, no power, no respect, no nothing, no money, like less money. 
Oh my god, man, I'm getting deep in this. This is my life. I look orange on the camera. I don't even care no more. Let it be orange. I don't care. The fuck? I don't look orange. I look regular. Who the fuck cares? I'm poor. I'm homeless. I don't give a damn. Oh my, bro. Wait, okay. Whoa, 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 wait, wait. This is scary. I almost went down a dark fucking path, guys. Um, I was saying things that if somebody was watching, those are the words of a future serial killer or something crazy. Nihilism. Nothing matters. If I kill you, it doesn't matter because we all die anyway. That's some crazy thing. I do not agree with that at all. You know, I do believe life does have meaning. You know, it's to love and care and make experiences with others that's meaningful that you can always remember. And that's the meaning of life. That is scary that I said that because I could have went down a very dark path of just alcohol, drugs, and just who the fuck cares because life sucks. And who, like, you know, I could have went down that path. Luckily, I don't know how it happened. But I got out of that, and I'm here now, and we're in this big, nice apartment, well, it's not huge, but we're in this nice apartment, you know, I have, you know, I have that, you know, I have a dream board, I have that, you know, I'm doing, I'm doing all right, you know, I'm not doing amazing, but I'm doing all right. I'm poor, I'm homeless, I don't give a damn. Damn, I had them veins popping though, holy shit. Me? You did this to yourself, Ty. Why? Because How? you chose him to remind me with no money, basically How did no money. this happen? How did it happen to me? Well, the only thing I wanted was less, was more than nothing. I didn't ask for too much. I just wanted more than nothing. And I ended up with less than that. I ended up with less than what I even came with. And I already had Ty, look nothing. at the bigger picture. And I ended up with less than that. You've got to look at the bigger picture, Ty. I am, I'm, I'm going to say this even for myself today. I have to look at the bigger picture. Sometimes I do go into a self, uh, I go into a state of self punishment sometimes i'm very hard on myself because i don't know i don't feel like i'm where i'm supposed to be or things aren't going my way the way i thought it was going to go the things that i do now in two three four five years are going to have a huge impact imagine if you know 10 years i'm always just consistently you know adding to this where it could be you know if i got in here in a year and a half you know over a thousand subscribers thank you for all of you guys you guys mean a lot to me but if i got in here in like under a year Imagine where I can get in 10 years and I'm consistently improving. I'm always, I'm always learning new things and I'm building upon the things I've already learned. I wish I, I wish I really thought like that back then. Man, we're getting deep in this video. Woo, getting hot in here, guys. Am I depressed? I don't know. I don't, what is depressed? I don't feel anything anymore. I think that's depression. I'm numb all over. There's no happiness, there's no sadness, there's no. Okay, before I go into the rant about depression and how I'm feeling, I try to like think back to like how I was mentally thinking back then, but it's very hard to like put myself back in those shoes because I'm not in that situation no more. I was completely like hopeless. Like I had no emotion, like happiness, sadness, joy, relief, none of that matter. It was all just the same. I hope that doesn't, didn't have any long ter like term effects. I don't know. I just, I feel like I'm not, I don't know. Maybe that's like narcissism a little bit, but I always feel like not like better, but I always feel like I'm different. Than like most people you're watching this video like normal people normal people don't do this you know most people just go to college get a job and do their thing like at first i was kind of like embarrassed about it but like now i got to a point where you know i don't care and a lot of that came from me going homeless because i realized nobody gave a fuck about me you know that was a strong realization to come to you know when you're young your parents if they're good parents um usually make you feel like you're special and you could do anything in the world. You know, if you did sports, they're always supporting you. Like, yo, you can do it. If you don't make the first cut, ah, the coach, that's their problem. They just don't know my son or my daughter. They don't understand. Coming to the realization that none of that is true. Like, in reality, of course, you can feel like you're a special person. You can do anything in the world. That's a good mindset to have. You should have that mindset. Understanding that nobody truly gives a fuck about your situation. If you go homeless, maybe your friends would care, your family, of course, but general people, they don't care. You know, when I was homeless, they didn't, nobody came to me and said, Ty, actually, I lied. One person actually did. I'm not gonna say his name in the video just because um, privacy reasons, but one person actually did care. So I can't say that 100%. I'm not gonna be a hypocrite and say, no, I'll be the one guy that save your life. No, I wouldn't do that because I have my own problems. You know, I'm going through my own thing. So coming to the realization that just nobody cares about me as an individual really was a fuck, like a mind fuck, guys. I love you so much. You're so special to me. No. All right, let's keep it going. Maybe I'm, am I depressed? I try. I talk about a lot about depression. 
am I depressed? I don't know. I don't. What is depressed? I don't feel anything anymore. I'm numb all over. There's no happiness. There's no sadness. There's no ha anger. Just it's just nothing. Or you can see it in my eyes. There was maybe literally this, just maybe depression. No emotion in my eyes. Maybe most people talk about depression don't really have it because this is helplessness. It's feel if. I feel, I feel bad for anybody going through the you know, what did going I do? Through depression. What did I? I really what feel for you. I do. Other than one more for myself. Uh, other than one more than the bare fucking minimum in the world. What the fuck did I do wrong? Yeah. I was born into nothing. My family went to stay in Mississippi. That's it. Me. I have to go through this. My friends want to stay behind because they're terrified. It's like it's not fair. Life is beyond not fair, bro. It's beyond not fair. Some people live. Bill Alice, she was born privileged parents. Okay, I parents. don't know the best fact. Two parents that lived in LA. Don't know the if they live had in two, LA. She had two parents. Then has a brother they did, that she did live in LA. And write songs for her. And all she has to do is fucking sing. And now she's a, she's a billionaire, a millionaire, whatever the fuck she is. Most okay, okay, wait a minute. That that was a strong statement to say. Yes, technically it is true. She did have the advantage of living in L.A. already and having a brother to, you know, produce her songs, write her songs. She did have that. But she is a fucking talented ass singer. This is a different time. I, I don't agree with some of the, you know, most of the things that I say. Um, so for Bill Alley, she does ever see this somehow. Um, no, you're a talented ass singer. Um, yes, of course, you know. Some people wish they could live in L.A already have that you know all that is still true but you know that doesn't take away from the fact that you are a good ass singer and you have made hits and i think you write your own songs now let me let's just keep going i just had to say that because some people might come in like oh my god what the fuck you hate the now i don't i do not she's a talented ass singer anybody that's out there watching all right let's keep going i, I, get I, it. I was crying how sure. who 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 allows this I'm so like I'm so grateful for a lot of things that I have now. Um, I'm so glad, like man, who, having this mentality who, is so much better. Like, I'm this? in such a happier state of that, mind. I didn't really truly appreciate the life. things that I already had. Like I had a MacBook, I had a fam like family that loved me. me I, I lived in the house. You know, it wasn't My really much going on. I could eat. You know, and I just didn't take gratitude to any of those things. So I'm so glad that I just have. The mindset that I have now, you know, it's a lot better mindset. Can I get genuine connections anymore? I don't know. If I get a girl, I don't even think, could I love her? I, was, I can't even imagine. Like, imagination isn't, I can't color. So right here I'm referencing feeling emotions towards other people. It's literally impossible to imagine this, but I literally felt no emotions. Like, if someone would have came and spit in my face, or yelled at me, or gave me a, a, a dollar, I wouldn't have felt anything. I would have felt completely neutral. Luckily, the brain is a beautiful thing. It adapts, and I'm better now. But during that time, I really felt like I could not like create genuine connections with like other people, friends, a girl, anything, family. I just thought I was done. I don't even think could I love her. I was, I can't even imagine. Like imagination is in. I can't color red. I can't see it. It's just black. I forgot about that. Yo, not only could I not feel anything, but I couldn't even imagine. And I'm serious about this. If you would've told me to like think about like anything, like a hamburger or something, I couldn't formulate like the idea of it, if that makes any sense. I didn't have, I, I couldn't even formulate those thoughts in my head. Bro, I literally just felt like I was a walking corpse. Like I had no, nothing, no, no humanity to myself, no emotion, no empathy, nothing, no thoughts. Like who was I? What, that, oh my God, think about that. That's crazy, man. What are human beings? Okay, this is not a philosophy channel. Let's just keep going. I think we're almost done. I can get really deep into this, and I think we've been going for a long ass time. So let's hurry up and get this video done, because I know you guys are probably like, Ty, we've been, we we're kind of feeling sad, and I'm sorry. Oh man. So luckily, I ended it off on a good note. You know, I gave the camera a little kiss. Um, so I wasn't completely just going. You know, I'm glad I can laugh about it now because you know, at the time, it was not a funny matter. That was not a funny, fun time to go through. If I 
I, if I had to go through that shit again, I don't, I don't know, if, I don't even know if I could. I don't even know how I got through it the first time. I was homeless. It wasn't okay. I'm gonna just be completely honest. It wasn't for that long. I think it was a month, maybe a month and a half, two months. Well, that's a long time. But uh, you know, I wasn't homeless for years. You know. I felt so fucking shitty about myself. And I just, I was contemplating, you know, into myself. It was just a sad time to be in. Um, I think I made a couple vlogs during the time. And if you, if you watch those vlogs, I'm gonna like, I might link them below if you wanna see them. If you watch those vlogs, you can tell like, I wasn't just not okay in the head. I was trying to like lie to myself and make myself seem happy. But on the inside, I was completely just fucking done, bro. Like I just didn't even wanna live anymore. And luckily, like I said, I got through that. I'm here now, you guys are here with me. <sighs> You know, life, life's, you know, that's what life's about. As I said before, I think life's about creating meaningful relationships with people. You know, that's what I enjoy the most. Honestly, that's why I started this YouTube channel because I always felt like I was missing like a sense of companionship. And I know it's probably not the most healthy thing to do to start like a YouTube channel to try to find friends. But, you know, having a community of people is really nice. You know, having you guys comment below and, you know, all of those things really do mean a lot to me. Of course, I have my, like, in-person friends. You know, I'm not completely just, you know, by myself. I always just felt like I wanted there to be people there that I could always go to, and they always have my back, and I would always have theirs. And that's why, and that's why I'm so happy that my community is growing and you guys are here with me. And it's just a very nice time to be in right now. I can't imagine having 100,000, a fucking million subscribers. Oh. A million subscribers? I can't even like imagine that. Holy shit. <laughs> Am I fucking depressed again? No, I'm just joking. I sacrificed a lot to do this YouTube thing. Not only for the YouTube, I did it for myself also, you know. I moved to Miami not only just to do YouTube, but so I can experience more life, you know. Mississippi was just a very small town. Like it wasn't really much happening there, so I really moved here just to experience and grow myself as a person, which I have done, you know. I've gone through a lot of transformations and I wouldn't trade the world except for that homeless part. That shit wasn't fun. But other than that, you know, I wouldn't trade the world for things I learned. So if you guys want me to link down below uh, this video, the full video of me having a mental breakdown, let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, but other than that, love you guys. See you guys in the next one. Uh, peace.